welcome to Plumstein Plays Final Fantasy 7. I am absolutely buzzing to be uh, recording this. I absolutely love this game. I picked it up on Steam a long time ago. I must have played through it a couple of times. This, in my opinion, is the best game ever created. A uh, very biased opinion. It came out when I was very young. Loved it as a kid. Love it as an adult. Um, contrary to a lot of things, I am actually quite looking forward to the remake. I want to see how it is, but hopefully I'm going to do this playthrough. We're going to go through this all together, and uh, I can finish this hopefully before... Ah, oh, love this music. Hopefully we can finish this before we uh, move on to the remake. And if you would like me to, I am trying to see. I should be able to do it, but I'm going to try and do a recording of the lovely uh, remastered version. Let's uh, dive right in, shall we? Oh. Yeah, for the back for like the day it came out in, though, like the graphics were absolutely amazing, and the music is timeless. Absolutely fantastic. If you haven't played Final Fantasy VII uh, and this is your first time viewing this game, I'm not the best. I'm, I, I'm not great in this game, but I do know it fairly well. Enjoy it and I would highly recommend getting it. It's like, I fucking recommend any game that you want to pick up. This is the one. The music is amazing. <laughs> it seemed so much more epic back in the day, I must admit, but it is still cool. Barrow! Why my favourite colour is purple, to be honest. Ah, That's how we run. See, in battle, the, the graphics aren't the worst. They're not amazing. I'm quite a big fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, and the 15th one that came out recently with uh, Noctus was actually really good. I actually, I, I can genuinely say I really enjoyed that game. I may need to change my key bindings for this. <laughs> That'll be something I do off screen so I don't have to bore you all with that. I used to be a soldier, huh? I don't know, uh, would you like me to read these out? Or uh, I, I'll leave them up long enough for you guys to read them. Right? Basically, just they're saying is he used to be an ex soldier. Well, there's a group of people called soldier and they're like genetically modified and badasses, basically. I think we'll go with the little this. I think we'll stick with this, basically. We'll go with that. I love the music in this game, I could sit here and listen to this all day long. Um, I, I, I think this is a good game, but it, it's worth going back and playing before you play the remake, I think, because they are changing things in the new remake that I've heard, and as well as it coming out next week, but each episode is going to be as long as an actual game, which is like the original one, because this, when I first had it on the PlayStation 1, was a... Uh, all on discs, and there was three discs. Barrett is badass, not Barrett. Okay, so basically, it's still just going through all the tutorial list at the moment. This was all cutting edge back in the day as well. They, everyone loved this. It was like, oh, we got 3D sprites, we can look up and down, left and right. Change key bindings so running is easier. I love this song. I love all the music. Ah. 
Final Fantasy franchise and back in the day used to be very good. I'll show you some, I'll show you some of the actually, actually. I don't know how good it is. It sounds like boiling kettle. But it is always pretty good. But this was before they started get, trying to get a bit too fancy with everything. Like, 10, 10 was alright. Like, I didn't play 12 or 11. Um, 13 was. It looked pretty, but it was absolutely awful. I, I couldn't stand 13. It was. It made me fall out of love with the franchise a bit, but. The, the early day franchise games was absolutely fantastic. And the story in this is phenomenal. Like, the, the story is probably one of the best stories in any game that you would ever get. And hopefully, I can. Uh, Walk you all through and uh, show you all of this. Is this the first time in the reactor? Yes, yes, it is the first time in the reactor. Don't make it a uh, no. Okay, apparently it's not my first time in the reactor. Shinra is basically this big company that um, kind of like the government corporation thing. Is, they kind of run the world, basically. That we're in. Yes, now Barrett has decided to walk inside us and join us. Can you open the door for me, please? Good lass. It's Jesse, isn't it? Yeah, Jesse. And don't get me wrong, this is, for, for an older game, like, I know some older games can be quite challenging. This one is super hard at points. Like some of the bosses in this game, like you may have heard of Ruby Weapon, like very late game but very hard. Phoenix Down, always helpful. Like, don't want to be going without them for too long, to be honest, because uh, I will die. Do I have to talk to you again? Oh yeah. Help, helps if you get them to open the door for you, so you're not just stand there without right? like a pillock. It's okay, so you can push every other button than that one. I heard the new one's going to be fully voice acted as well, so uh, won't have any of these text bubbles. Although I do like the text bubbles, it's quite interesting. I just trained all my life, so, yeah, so, uh, these reactors that these, the, this avalanche group don't like essentially sucks the life out of the planet for energy. So kind of like kind of like fracking to be honest. A bit controversial, I know, but it is kind of true. We just suck everything out of this planet and we change it into electricity. Cloud's kind of only interested in money at this point in time. Don't know what Jesse's doing in the background there, just kind of stood there out of a game. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Hopefully I should be able to get far enough into this that I can actually start showing off a few bosses like me. Yeah. My headphones on and that was really loud in my ear for the shit out. But the uh, the enemy design in this game is actually fantastic as well. Ow! Bitch! Go on, man. It's a lot of very interesting. There's a couple of op optional uh, characters as well that you can get in the Switch show. I don't know about any other Final Fantasies, but I find that um, not many Final Fantasies do that now. You usually, you can pick your team, but they don't usually have optional people that you can bump into along the way. So that's what I'm down. Watch, it's probably where I'm walking past like Holy or something. Which is like. Immensely powerful. Push OK in front of the ladder. <laughs> kind, of, kind of breaks the uh, immersion, really, doesn't it? When it's just like, if you press this button, then you can do this. It's like, wait, the fuck? The fuck you on about buttons? This is a great game. It's so big as well. Like, you start off in Midgar, which is a huge city, which you feel like is massive in itself, but then the whole world opens up to this humongous. Ow. Ah. 
out, fuck you. Eat my fucking shit. Okay, Barry, you didn't do great. I might just be the nostalgia of it all, but I love the other graphics. I think that's not always a nice on Barry, shall we? You can take him out, he's shooting you. You might as well get some revenge on him. If you if you watch this game and you you're interested in picking up, I think it's actually quite cheap on Steam these days, like maybe about eight quid. Like not much at all. All things considered. Like compared considering like what I, I bought Final Fantasy XV. I think it was a uh, well I got the first day copy, but I didn't buy it on the first day, and that was forty quid, fifty quid I think. It was a lot of money. It was a long game though. But, not as long as this, because like, you... I find Final Fantasy games back back when these ones were huge and popular were so much longer, because this one you can easily sink... Oh, you can easily sink days, days into, like... I know, in the newer one you can sink about... If you concentrate on nothing but the story, it'll take you about 20 hours, 25 hours, roughly. Unless you're a pro speedrunner strap, which we're not going for here, we're gonna... We're gonna lay back. We're gonna enjoy the uh, enjoy the immersion of this. Okay, so we ah, so, so this is our save points. What button is it? Who do I save? Select. Sorry about that, I, did. I thought I changed that, but apparently not. Gil, as usual, for the money. I always wanted some Gil as a kid. I don't know why. Just, as you see, you can... Okay, I have nothing to change over, but you can change all the weaponry in that. There's quite, quite a lot of little equipment things, bombs, mangles. You start with the basic stuff, as you always do. I'll show you off the magic material thing. I quite like the material system. Because uh, if I go into equipment, at least I can show you. See, it's got these slots on your weapons, and sometimes I'll jump. I feel bits and bobs, you don't usually have them on accessories, but I don't think you can at all. But it's where you attach your magic and it affects all of your stats. Okay, so I need to run. I did say, I did, yes. So even in the early game, there's still quite a lot of uh, variation to the troops in front. There's not a huge amount, but there's enough to keep it interesting, because rather than like usual RPGs where it's like, go and kill this cow for two experience, it's, it jumps you straight in the deep end and you're joining a, essentially a kind of a terrorist organisation, but they're more like, they're like a terrorist version of like Greenpeace. It's like an extremist Greenpeace, if I had to describe it as anything, so... Yeah. <laughs> Greenpeace with swords and guns. Ah, oh, I've got this in a minute. I'll have to show that off before the end of this one. Yeah. Okay, so maybe in the comments, if you if you are watching this, uh, maybe, maybe tell me what your favourite Final Fantasy game is, because number seven is my favourite, but I know it's not everyone's. I know some people like eight. Nine. I've heard nine's a very good one. You never know. You may your favourite may be Final Fantasy Thirteen. You might be able to tell me a reason why you love it so much. Like I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying I did not enjoy it. I didn't find it was a Final Fantasy game per se. I still can't equip it. Damn it. I'd love to equip that right now because that gives me cure. Set the bomb. Okay, see? Kind of terrorism. Shouldn't you do it? <laughs> Barrett doesn't trust Cloud at this moment in time. For reasons such as. That. <laughs> Weird little kind of. 
brain headache memory things. Which does get explained, which I'm not going to spoil. Feel like I'm closing these things too fast. But like I said, if you're watching this and you want me to read these out, I will read it out for you in the comments. If that is what you would like. In the comments. So leave in the comments saying that you want me to read out these um, it's up here. The first boss of the game, boom. Look at that. Look at that design. Fucking awesome. Okay, now there's a uh, There's a method to this and I always forget it. Because he does this crazy ass laser tail beam thing and it fucking kills. I should have healed before I came in there really. No. Oh. So they're the limits, they do like huge attacks and they do tons of damage. Obviously the later levels you get more badass ones. Rifle. Ow, that actually really fucking hurt. Is any bad? I'm gonna run out of MP soon, I can tell. Search for I think this is what he does before he, um... The sound effects in this are great. I know they, um... Updated the graphics a little bit with um, on the Steam version, I think it was, and maybe on the PSP version. I've owned this on a lot of platforms. Uh, it's gonna hurt. Ow! Let's, uh, let's give you a bit of a potion, mate. Make sure you don't fuck up. Hopefully, I can show a cloud to. Limit at some point. I didn't see what did more damage physically. Oh, uh, no, I've told him to attack already. Alright, be careful. Attack while, attack while sits tails up. It's gonna attack. Can't attack. No! Don't do it! Fuck. Too late. Ow. Why not? I'm playing into it. Boom! Cancel, 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 cancel. I may have already fucked up. Leave me alone. Don't die. Oh no, Cloud's down. <laughs> oh shit. Barrett, don't die. Barrett might die. I may have fucked up. See, like I said, I'm not amazing at this one. Oh no! No! I can't even change what I did. Oh no, I really fucked up. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I've messed this up. Was that my only one as well? No, it's okay, I had another. Okay, Barrett, please, for the love of God. Okay, okay, usually I wouldn't like to use a, uh, normally I don't even have to use a potion here, I am, uh, I'm not doing great on this one. Okay, Barrett, you're dead, sorry. And I can't bring you back, shit. Heal yourself, for the love of God, heal yourself. Bloody hell. Search go. I got cocky. I want you to show off. Bit me in the arse, don't you? Yeah, just get your health up a little bit more, and then we'll start laying into it. I wish I had haste. Leave me alone. Alright, no! Alright, it means it's not going to get any bloody XP for this either. Never know, I might die, I might actually have to redo this. If I have to redo this, that's going to be really uh, embarrassing. No! Shit! Ah, Jesus Christ, that's more than a potion to have. I don't care if, uh... I don't care if you've got your limit break, you're not using it right now, because getting cocky last time with that is what killed me. Yeah, heal myself up a bit. 
Let's find his tail out. Good. Wake up. Search code. I don't know what that search code does. It says it targets them. Maybe that just means it's going to shoot attack him instead. That's the uh, infamous Buster Sword of uh, Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife, not Strife's. Don't know who Cloud Strife's is. Oh, I wish I didn't fuck up with Barrett. <laughs> oh well. I'll leave you do some grinding on screen or off screen, depending on what you want to see. Oh, 37 does not seem like a lot of damage. I'm going to try some magic again and pay attention to how much damage it's going to do this time because I want to kill this son of a bitch. Try Bolt. I can't remember if Bolt's good against machines or bad against machines. Because one of them heals and one of them. I think it depends on the machine. Wait! Boom! Fuck you, you little scorpion prick. Barrett just casually, like, KO on the floor. Sorry, Barrett. Ooh, the PP is low. AP, 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 that's one. Sort of. Nice. I think that's for I think that's four Barrett actually. Let's get out of here. Fuck yeah. I just laid a bomb up with that. Ten minutes of damage. Plenty of time. Uh oh Barrett's still KO'd. Let's give you a salt bomb. It's a bit better. Time still counts down, that's um, in that menu. That's uh, annoying, but hey, no. Can I heal one of this? No. Save this. Get out! Run! No Phoenix down. Potions. That boss didn't go as uh, cleanly as I would have liked. It went a bit, um, went a bit poorly. That one. <laughs> He's just going to be laying on the floor the whole time. Isn't it? Oh shit! I thought I did. There's a way of like pretending to run away and then you turn around and they don't get by Mr. They attack. Not that it matters. God, these things are. Defense for days, don't they? Lock them up, kill them. We've only got eight and a half minutes, which is plenty of time. I think I usually get out of here with like seven minutes to spare. You know, consider considering the boss was doing like 70 odd damage, like, like five damage just feels like a scratch. But it is a scratch, really, isn't it? Even if it even if it was like double that, it's not really much, it's like 130, 133, whatever you call it, with my hand, it's not bad. Give me the monies. We want the monies. That way I can get better equipment for you. Try and get you the ultimate blade. Oop. Oop. Some material soon as well because of all that restored. Ah! I guess I'm let go stuff. Well, we, for a, a bunch of people that have apparently like, been around for a little while and established themselves, they, they're, not the, um, they're not the brainiest when it comes to these bomb tactic things. They, didn't, they seem a bit here, there, and everywhere. Perhaps. I'm gonna say he got himself knocked out. It might have been my fault, but he's knocked out. Did you see what the first start? Oh shit. Hey. You ever do that on any of the games that you play, I wonder? It's like where you just click a direction and then it immediately runs you back into the area you previously used up that which is fucking annoying. It's like tapping on game. Ah. I shouldn't have.
kill the guns. You can kill them in one hit, I think. I love the design of the clock on this. So I think we've seen that clock a few times. Is that a crit? I think that was a crit. Ow. That's me worrying about my bloody health. They don't, they don't really do enough damage to cause me to worry about my health. Boom. It, it runs off time, it's not just turn based on this, it's a, you see next to the limit down about near their health, and then you've got them right, there's a time gauge, and when that time gauge fills up, that's when they have their next turn. Usually if you have something like haste, then uh, it will fill up quicker, but then they can also counter it, that will slow, and that's painful if you've got nothing to defend yourself against it, because you've waited for ages just to do one thing. Case of emergency, I'm in a lot of guns. Kind of basis. Oh. You know what we were foot. Got that and immediately wasted it. So probably would have been better if I was dead. Ah, for fuck's sake. Why don't you guys take care of these? Fight your own battles. Please wait. Do I have anything? <laughs> I didn't realise how badly I messed up. Because <laughs> I want Barrett to be getting some levels as well. Well, that doesn't really matter, he'll catch up with it. Because it gets to a point where levelling up takes, much like every other RPG in the world, it takes ages to get one level. And you have to grind quite hard. But there's quite a lot of places where you can grind in this game. But it's, it's a very casual play sort of game. It can be intense, it can be hard, but it's overall it's very laid back playing this game. It's not too bad. You're the one who can open doors up. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you waiting for me? There's a bomb timer ticking down. Please just go and open the door. Oh, you have to open the door. Fair enough. Where's the other one? I swear there's three of you. Fuck! Don't you shoot me, you little shit. Save him! Boo! Boo! Oh. Sorry about that. I'll see if I can edit it. Anyway. You've managed to get away. If not, only just. The noise is really annoying. Alright. Chill out. Okay, now if I can get back. Oh! Another little bomb. They love their bombs. Boom! Like a boss just rolling through flames. Everyone seems fine. And his ass is on fire. Either that or he had a really bad curry. This makes me laugh. Everyone goes to the same place, but just goes in opposite directions here. I can understand maybe, you know, it's not like way too much. Oh, my fucking money. I spent most of that fucking past now. Asshole. 
Anyway, I think we shall leave it there for today. With you staring into the wonderful eyes of the cloud. And uh, catch you next time, guys. Bye.